All right, so now we're gonna be doing the tuna pokey and a sesame cone. We have our tuna here, nice fine dice. This will usually be sent to site already diced. Now we're just going to, you're gonna hold off until maybe like another 20, 15 minutes before you start serving these and you're only gonna make them by like a small batch, maybe like th two or three trays at a time because you, you don't want the tuna to get over marinated. You still want them to be able to taste that tuna. So we have our Asian pear dice. Nice fine dice to go with the uh, with the fine dice of the tuna. So you're getting a little bit in every bite. And we just add oh, and just a touch of sesame oil per batch. A touch of white soy. Just a little wasabi powder. And a little ground ginger. We're gonna mix that up. We're going to finish it with a little bit of fresh cilantro. Now this you're always going to want to taste it. And maybe a little more pear. The soy brings that salty umami flavor. And you have the pear in here to kind of cut through that. Create a nice balance. That's good. Now to serve this, obviously we'll be keeping our tuna as cold as possible up until serve. We go into our sesame cones. Here we have two ways of actually serving these cones. We have like a little rice and sesame seeds with the cones sticking out of it. A very cool, innovative way to present these. And then we have just kind of like a standard wooden tray. We're gonna put some microgreens in the bottom of these cones just to kind of act as a little filler. We don't need too much tuna in these. It is an hors d'oeuvre. Maybe like a teaspoon's worth, a teaspoon and a half. And again, we're keeping this tuna as cold as we possibly can until we're serving it. And then to finish it, we just top it with a little bit of this wasabi tobiko. Clean up your trays. It's good to go.